I have some cool shit. I have some cool shit. So, uh, you're never, do you know what I'm doing Wednesday? Uh, I don't think so. Butter on a summer day when she's around. You remember that song? Bayside. What a Bayside. Oh. <laughs> Dude, well, yeah. They didn't write that song. Smokey Post did, but they covered it. Damn, dude, I haven't thought about them in forever. What, where, where are they playing? Uh, Big v- Emo's. Victoria? Yeah, and I want to <laughs> – no, that's why. But they used to play Victoria all the time. All the time. <laughs> Let's just jump right into this so we can go right uh, – you know what number episode this is, by the by? Uh, 119? Let me check. Ding, bing, 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 bing. I didn't see it. <laughs> 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 All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of I Didn't See It, but I Believe You. I'm Doug. I'm Joel Robertson. This is episode 118, and I'm so happy that you're all here with us. Uh, and as I was saying before we got into this, uh, I'm going to see Bayside Wednesday, and I think you're playing like Census Fail and Hawthorne Heights. Okay, it's so like- – it's a nostalgia dump, you know what I mean? That, that's so, really interesting that you that that's who they're playing with because I think I think I might have even told you when I was in the when I, like right around when I was throwing up last week. Uh, I think I told you <laughs> that uh, Hawthorne Heights put out a new song, and I mean I'm gonna be honest, I was never that big into them. I hated the way that dude screamed, and I kind of hate. Are they the ones that went, Do you feel like a man? No, no, that's Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. They're the ones oh, that sing okay. uh, that sing. Uh, Oh fuck! Uh, cut my wrist and black my eyes. Cut my wrist and black my eyes. <laughs> Cause my heart is in Ohio. Yeah, them. Uh, so, uh, wait, uh, he so said they- heart is in Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea. You uh, remember I had that shirt that said my heart is in Arizona. <laughs> I remember when you take pictures and it would be like you would put your hair pull aside and you have like a little paper sign that says, "I love you." <laughs> You remember that shit? Kind of. Uh, I used to do the uh, the heart. What does that mean? A heart. It's a heart. That does not look like a heart. Shouldn't it be like this? It's like this. It's like this. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. That looks like a badass gang sign. Like that? 20 like, to 20. This is, a heart. This, is, this is a pretty good heart. Yeah, but – never mind. I'm never, Dude, I could, I could not fucking believe. Did you see that picture Greg Abbott and all the people took after they signed that bill? No, we're not going to talk about that. But did you see the picture they took? No. It's they him, doing and that? Like, it's him and 100 fucking white people going. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? What's you happening here? Online. Am I taking crazy pills? <laughs> you um, can't put that online. Anyways, all, I'm, all I was trying to tell you is uh, I'm going to show, but also you just heard on the damn phone that I'm actually going to the game today, and I can't wait to tell you. Hopefully, it's an exciting one. I've been to a couple of games now, but um, they're, they're kind of blowing up, dude. Like I, I, I don't know if it's maybe because I've followed a couple rabbit holes when you've posted about them, but I see them a lot in my Explore page now, like that <laughs> band that plays there, the volunteer band. Like I keep oh, seeing posts God. about them. Dude. Joel, it is I I mean I love it so much, but when you watch them, they get so fucked up. They get so hammered that that band really just turns into a boom boom. boom. <laughs> <laughs> like dude, everybody like stump dude. It is crazy because okay, so yeah, I don't think I've ever actually seen a video of them after the game started. Or maybe I'm just always tanked because you don't. We don't drive there. We take the train. That's like a huge part of it, you know. Right. And so, like when you, and yep, I've told you all that story. But like so, but when you go, we're not good. Like we're a good team, but we don't score. Like that's right. we beat ourselves for the most. But part. y'all but have I, scored. Y'all have scored at this point, right? Like tw- two or yeah, three times. More than that. So like uh, four. So, <laughs> more than that. So, anyways, uh, so like, and we got like some really great players and some some people some players that are gonna really care about austin and stick around you know like fagundes and freaking uh like struver but anyways but austin we are not yeah we're not supposed to be good like we're supposed to be it's our inaugural season we're developing we're making a culture and the culture's there man so it's like when you go it is it is definitely a party you know what i mean yeah 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 
games, the, the weekend games. We're playing uh, San Jose this weekend or today, tonight. The the Quakes. It's the tickets. I was looking at the tickets. The tickets are above fifty bucks right now, meaning that it's going to be a packed game. You know, so tonight should is be that, really. Is that, fun. Not, is that normal? The the price a weekday game is usually around like forty bucks to get to buy a ticket or, or whatever. Really? But yeah, the weekend games get a little bit more expensive. You know, I mean, it's a brand new stadium. That's and, true. That's true. And typically, uh, weekend games are pretty packed. Like, yeah, so yeah. that's it really. And I, they, they, they're not like dumping tickets like at game time, like they do for baseball and stuff like that. So, right. Which I guess is kind of, I was just thinking, cause when we got to that Rangers game, it was pretty fucking packed, but there was still, I looked up while we were there and there were tickets. I mean, pretty fucking far from where we were sitting, but there were tickets for like $6 and I was like, yeah. what? <laughs> No, that's how it is. I mean, it's, yeah. they've got to get butts and seats. You know, it looks better on camera. And obviously, it's, you know, that's part what they do. Dude, in 2021, there's nothing more that I like to see than a fucking large group of people crammed together. That's what I oh, like. Cool. Butts in seats, motherfuckers. I, I never told you about the second time that I went to uh, the um, AFC, right? So I, we, were, we were actually winning. We won. But, so I'm like, shit, the last train leaves – uh, pretty much right when the game ends. So, but in soccer, that's not like, very. That's not very conducive. If it is, I hope that's something that I just maybe misunderstand. Maybe they do have another train that goes. But from what I've gathered and looking at the schedule, and even on game day schedules, the last train goes at like ten forty seven, like one of those weird train numbers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, Anyway, so uh, the last one, I'm like, fuck, I got to get on this train back because that's how I got here. And I was by myself at that one. And um, like, I, I did the whole trip by myself, like there and back. And um, so, and I wasn't, I wasn't like hammered. But where I mean, does the was, train take you? Sorry, but where does the train take you? Because for people that maybe live in other cities, y'all may not realize that Austin has one of the worst mass transit systems in the country. So like. <laughs> Certainly, I, but with that said, we're also a very small city. Right. When people complain about traffic, and the traffic is most certainly worse than it's ever been, still to get from my apartment, which is on the south side of town, to get to our work on the east side of town and where the train station is that I take, it in deep traffic, it still only takes 10 minutes. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it should only take three minutes. Walking from your house, yeah. Not walking. No, well, I mean, it's. I'm, I'm, I mean, theoretically, you should be able to walk out of any – door and be three minute walk to a train or a bus in my 10 minutes maybe more like 20 excuse i'm, yeah, I'm being yeah, yeah. a little bit exaggeratory but uh exaggeratory but anyways so but okay. masturbatory that exactly um remember that silver cherry song he's like master beta master beta remember nope. that no nope. he wasn't really because he wasn't actually saying that he was saying the mass debate it's like the mass debate the mass debate I was always saying, it's like, I'm like in eighth grade going, Master Bader. Uh, learn to hate. Learn to hate. Yeah. And he yeah, says, I don't, remember, I don't remember that one. That's on Frog Stomp or what? Yeah, bro. Frog Stomp. Dude, I Man. didn't realize, dude, I'm going to let you finish. But did you realize they were like 14 when Frog Stomp came out? I do. I didn't that. fucking know that. I watched a little YouTube video about them the other day. It kind of blew my fucking mind. Anyway, continue. On the train. <laughs> Okay, so I'm trying to get back to make so I'm going to get this train so I can get home. Well, I'll get to the bar and then cab home. Right, right. right. And so, um, <laughs> so I remember I'm like going, and then a lot of people like a lot of people got the trend, you know, like you got to leave a little bit early or whatever. And these two guys <laughs> were like, uh, start like they're like, man, we should just run. I'm like, let's run. I just look at these strangers like, let's run. They're like, they're like, and we're kind of like. Let's go. And like we start running. And these two guys like look back, like, what the fuck are we doing? And I'm like, let's keep going, guys. They're like, no. And I'm like, <laughs> so I was too embarrassed to stop. So I just kept going. And I got to the train. The guy's like, he's like, You you're the first person here. We're not leaving with just one person on the train. You could next time. It's like next time you don't have to run. I'm like <laughs> Oh, it was so embarrassing. <laughs> but anyways, well, on the train that's first. not really on you, though. That's kind of on the two dudes who pussed out. Yeah, why? Did, it could have been the three of us. Right. He pussed out. They both. What? Well, one of them pussed out, and then the other one saw it, and it made him waver in his confidence. Were we talking on the podcast about Puss in Boots being a Spanish tale? No, but I love, Puss in, 
I love uh, pussy boots. Pussy uh, boots? Puss and boots. But were we talking about I like about them both. That? Oh, were we talking about that on the show? Or are we talking about that at the bachelor party? And also, did you have a bachelor party? Yeah, hell yeah, I did. I forgot we haven't had an episode since then. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, was a- that a bachelor party or was that a hang out with Joel before he gets married? You know what I mean? A bachelor party, dude. Did I hang uh, out? Yeah, dude. You did fucking you party. Stay- I would say I would constitute that as partying. Y'all motherfuckers were hammered. Yes, you partied, and so my third that would constitute a bachelor me party. I'm a bachelor. Yeah, it was a full-on bachelor party, except for half of us. Dude, remember? <laughs> yeah, two of them are married. Yeah, it's weird <laughs> to think three of y'all about to be married. Holy shit! I'm not even going to put anybody on blast, but that was one of the funniest nights that I've remembered in a long time. And I've texted people shit that we talked about that night just to see. And nobody but you remembers Cummins. Nobody, <laughs> nobody remembers that. Dude, I was Dying, man. That I had a great time. I just want you to know that was one of the best times I've had in a long time. I had a fantastic fucking time, man. Yeah. So I could not fucking talk for like three days after though, all that smoke. Cause I y'all I don't know if y'all noticed, but I sat in the same off. spot the whole night and that smoke was like in my mouth the whole night. What about all those pictures I sent you? Bro, I mean, I got them. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking through this. I'm like just a fat ass in the woods. <laughs> And just Bro, like, you, like you guys, <laughs> the pictures y'all were just, I would turn around and y'all were randomly taking pictures. So I was like, well, I'll just start taking pictures when they're walking. And then when Jeff pulled out that bright ass flashlight and y'all were just like, oh, this is perfect for pictures. But we just all look like Bigfoot. <laughs> it was so fucking bright and Dude, there was i couldn't so see people. for like a minute and a half <laughs> i didn't i just thinking about it now i was like how many people were actually in that part of the park just camping and we're just like <laughs> four, four i know the answer it's zero they all got there at like 6 a.m it was really? i be, because okay so one cheddar woke up to pee and was so wow. loud about getting out and I was he like, was making so many noises. Shout out to Chad. Yeah, shout out to Chad. He made all. He was snoring so loud that you could probably hear that shit in the woods. Dude, when he got up, I'm like this dude, he got married and turned to a fucking seventy year old man. He's like, <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm like, he's like making the, I'm like, what is going on? Uh, so he woke me up because he was he was kind of banging around trying to get out, and uh, so I woke up and went out there to pee, and I'm peeing, and I'm, all of a sudden I see headlights the fuck and so i stood out there for a little while and just smoked my jewel smoked a bowl and watched uh people pulling up and building tents and then in the morning at like eight i got up to take shit and uh walked (laughs) walked to that toilet way off in the distance and i passed probably five fucking tents and i was like there's no way these motherfuckers were here last night within a stone's throw of us yelling and getting rowdy our site was trashed Mm. I like that they next stayed, morning. It was like a pretty rough. They stayed for like two hours. They didn't leave until like noon, bro. I was already almost back into back home by noon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could have done more, I'd imagine, but I was, I know you were ready to get the hell out could of there. Could we have? Could we have? Because I picked up all the trash that was on the table. I swept up all the cigarette ashes and then I put all that shit in a bag and it looked fine. There were cans, but it was Obviously. a can. It's not a camping trip. It was obviously, uh, it wasn't a camping trip. It was a cabin. Camping. <laughs> like, are you like rudely correcting me? Can. Camping. It's not even a thing. Uh, oh, I wonder if whatever happened to that tube I bought. What a waste of $20. I was, I was wondering. <laughs> I'll try that too. And I went down the, those rapids and I'm like, do it, Joel. You're like, no. I'm like, come on, be fun. It would have been fun. You were struggling so hard with that damn tube. <laughs> it was, it was such a waste. It was such like, a pain because, like, once you get to the, the the tide wasn't bad or current wasn't bad, but once <laughs> when you're holding that stupid ass thing and it keeps hitting the water, getting pulled back every. The tide, the tide of the river wasn't bad. <laughs> Slow tide okay. on the oh, oh, sh- d- uh Check this out. So. So I was just sitting around a couple days ago drinking one of these. Oh my God, this motherfucker brought two cases of liquid death to the camp. We're taking 
beer, vodka, and Joel's bringing two cases of liquid death to our trip. Trip. I drank That's- fifteen of them. I know. Yeah, that was, that's that might be a record for me. Fifteen in uh, less than twenty four hours. That has to be a record for me. Anyway, uh, that may not be good. Uh, <laughs> I don't think carbonation's the best for humans. Well, oh, even beyond that, though, if you drink too much water, you can drown. Well, I know. Wait, hold, I took oh, Adderall we, one time, and I was like, oh, "I'm gonna try to drink ten gallons a day." And the internet was like, "Don't do that." <laughs> it's like I'm gonna be healthy. I'm gonna drink ten gallons of water yeah. today. I'm gonna piss out my uh, soul. Uh, Dude, okay, so I was, I was sitting around, I was drinking a liquid death, and I was cruising Instagram, and I fucking get a liquid death ad like I do often, and they released a fucking VHS tape. Oh my god! <laughs> Where uh, the these guys go camping, and these cans of liquid death come to life and murder them. That's awesome. It's, it's called Dead Till Death, and uh, yeah, it's fucking awesome. Dude, I got. We were talking about um, the T-shirts that we collect or whatever. It's kind of like the thing that we're into. You're you got me into it. And I'm probably even heavier into it than you are right now. But um, maybe I had to slow down, not because I wanted to. <laughs> I mean, it's just like they're like it's just like buying a shirt for you're not you're not an exorbitant pr- a price for any other shirt you would buy. You know what I mean? So where did you go? <laughs> and so it's like makes it easy it's, and it's fun because it's like limited you know hey Ro- i can see your dog hey rocky so anyways it doesn't i don't know what i'm saying this for oh but the dude that pinhead shirt that i always have from walmart that i got because you found it at walmart you see the one that the uh, toy stops release dog guys had a whole ass conversation about it last night we did it was so <laughs> i got it this is just so you know that's it i just want everybody to know that and you got the variant too, right? So that's the blue one or the the cream one. The cream. Wait, well, that blue. was the one of them was cream, right? Or brown? Black and, blue. and the other, the black and white ones are tight th- too, though. Yeah, they're they're six. So the black and blue ones were the variant, though. Uh huh. Nice. Uh, what what did you think of those ring shirts that Ruckin mm-hmm. dropped? I I I look awful in those. Do you do you look good in those? I'd say yes. I'm wearing one right now. I mean, I guess that's more like a jersey, though. Like, I don't really, it doesn't look like it because you got the stripes that kind of cover it up. But with those ring shirts, I don't know. They make my arms look so small. It's just you have that weird body type. Yeah, where where I'm super skinny until my hips and then I'm super skinny again. (laughs) You look like you're from Whoville. Whoville? Oh, like that girl, Taylor Momsen. Taylor Momsen? Oh, dude, you were talking about her. Yeah. Like Cindy Lou Who, and now she shows her boobs in her in her CD, and like her her music is it's what's the name it's of music? Rebels yell or something like that. The rebels yell, yeah, dude. The the rebel yell. Uh, don't tread you on me. The, the don't tread on me's. <laughs> Hi, my name is Rebel Yell, and we are the don't tread on me's. <laughs> oh, dude, dude. You know what though? Don't stop there. Tell me more about her. Oh, that's it. Sure, I her, I don't want to hate. I don't like her. Mu- I don't. I'm not a fan of her music. It exists, and there are people who enjoy it. It's it plays constantly on the radio here, so I imagine she's at least got to have a few fans. And uh, it to me, it's okay. And and honestly, she's got pipes. She could sing. There's a couple of those songs that play where I'm like, all right, you know, like she could sing. But the music sounds like if like like. Like no, nah, like 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 poison or like scorpion or white snake put out an album. Like it sounds like if one of those hair bands had progressed until now. Okay. Yeah. But, or they came out with an album. Right. Now. It just doesn't fucking work for me, man. It's so the lyrics are borderline like make my stomach hurt. It's all death by rock and roll and fucking like you're like fuck. I, I, and fucking it's all about fucking and you know what i miss the days where women sang about not fucking not giving up their soul it's all about rock and roll and fucking uh so I weird to, i used to have that stupid ass uh you remember when magnets people put magnets on their car instead of bumper stickers for a while there yeah and i had that magnet it was a ribbon like one of those aids ribbons but it was black and it said support sex drugs and rock and roll why did I drive yeah. around with that? Why didn't anybody take that off my car? What is this? What is it again? Support sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And I wondered why I was getting pulled over all the time. Mine was Jesus is my co-pilot. 
And I named that, I named my instrumental metal band. Jesus is my co-pilot. And I we had a those- friend. We had a friend who had a, a car magnet that said mom's taxi and he would put it on the door sometimes. <laughs> Baby on board. And then you open it up and it's all of us. Dude, I know it's been said a bunch of times, but like it, I see him a lot here. And I thought that that was a trend that was like dead, but I see him a lot here. And what if you didn't have that sticker, I wasn't going to ram you, you know, like I, I'm never like, all right, all right. You all right? You got a baby? Never mind. Yo, you got a baby? Oh, I guess I'm not gonna run you off the fucking road. I'll drive safer. That sticker, because if you think about it, every wreck that happens is a, is an accident unless it's fully intentional. And a, a bumper sticker. <laughs> well said, Joel. Every wreck is an accident unless it's fully intentional. Perfect. Well said. <laughs> so. With with that knowledge, we can say that that sticker only exists to deter the people who are intending to harm that driver before they knew there was a baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Dude, everyone with one of those stickers must be a piece of shit because they're yeah, like, they're yeah. after me. <laughs> yeah, put sticker on there. I, keep on f- I fucked up again. I better put this sticker in the damn. Not window. today, guys. Fucking baby on board. Not today, motherfucker. Like I'm, I mean, and that's like I don't know. It's just why would you want that? Like, what I mean is it? Are you putting it in also, there to be safe? Are you putting it in there to be cute? Like, why are you doing it? Also, beyond the accident thing, that's a perfect. That's like a billboard for pedos. Oh, they could just fuck. follow that car. Hey, that's it's like up. a it's like a driving sushi train. <laughs> what the fuck? They just see it and they're like. Yum, and they follow it all the way. <laughs> it's terrible, it's terrible. We gotta terrible. stop this baby on board bullshit. Save yeah, the kid. Dude. Or what about the fucking stickers they put on the back? It's like the stick figure families. Oh yeah, you can count how many people you kill before you run them off the road. Yeah. Baby, baby, or no? It's like daughter, son, daughter, daughter, son, dog. son, baby, dog, dog, and then what the fuck is that? It doesn't. It's like. Or like uh, my kid's an A-plus student. Uh, for, let's just all bumper stickers about your kids. Nobody yeah. fucking cares. Nobody fucking cares, and to man. to reiterate, the only people who care if your baby's on board are people who were going to kill you before they knew you had a baby and child molesters. So, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe don't have that bumper sticker. Yeah. <laughs> or like, what if there's some crazy person out there like, I just really want a fucking family. I'm going to take a family. And then they see one of the minivans with the whole family. And they're like, that's exactly how many people I was looking for. Or it's just like a falling down situation. And the guy's just like, that's like a normal guy. And all of a sudden that one day he sees that he's a single guy. He's like in his fucking mid. Always wanted a family. Didn't even realize it. And he just sees that sticker on the back. And he's like, man, I guess I, I would, I think I do want a family and just like follows them and kidnaps the family and makes them his own. It's like, see, they would never see? fucking know. I'm a great would, father. You would never have known. He would never kidnap your family. You would never be in a new family with a weird stranger that's now your dad if you never had those fucking stickers. Yeah, and what's up with all the kids getting stuck around their step parents? What? <laughs> stuck around their step parents? You know, like help me, stepfather. I'm stuck. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what is happening? Is this a trend? No, I mean, have you? Uh, it's a trend. Yeah. It is okay. a trend. You're just going to leave me hanging with this one? <laughs> no, that's oh, a trend. Yeah. That's a trend in porn. That, that it's all step, step. It's all step parents. It's, all, oh, it's porn. It's a trend in porn that, that it's all uh, step sister and say, help me, step brother. I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like stuck in the laundry machine or something. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about now. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, didn't want to have to break the joke down that far. You're my sister. Uh, I'm your stepsister. Step-sister. Oh, and- shit. I forgot you were in here. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Yeah, they're uh, not what you're talking about. Jeez, man. 25 minutes. It feels like we've been talking for two hours. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus. Oh, dude, so I have the house to myself this weekend. I mean, no, st- you don't have to, Joel, you just take a breath, man. You don't have to freaking uh, push push it all out there in 25 minutes. 26 minutes. Uh. Anyway, it's boring <laughs> as shit. What? Being here alone. 
What have you been doing? Watching uh, porn? With sound. Oh, that's pretty good. So what do you do? Like you just go to the bathroom? You still go to the bathroom and watch it? Or are you like in I'll bed? Hold it. <laughs> oh, do I still go? I thought you meant do I go to the bathroom. No, I hold it. <laughs> just hold it. Uh, just wait that, right, hold buddy. It. Hold Look that. at this guy. Look at this little feller. Nice crotch, Joel. Ooh, Rocky's big. Look at that big old boy. Look at this big old boy. Hey, what are you even feeding him? Uh, Candy? <laughs> frosting? Snickers? Feeding him chocolate bars and grapes? Don't feed your uh, dog chocolate or grapes. I don't think you can feed him onion or garlic either. So you don't definitely do fucking can't feed him onion or garlic. That's almost worse than grapes or chocolate. Uh, Cause they like it more. Isn't it weird how a lot of the uh, state or t uh, towns in America are named after towns and cities and other parts of the world, you know? Yeah, that is pretty here? weird. Yeah. I like just Memphis? muted it for a second so I could tell him to move. Memphis. And that's about it. Right. No, Paris. Paris. There's a Paris, Texas. Yeah. There's an Ontario, Florida. Or like New New York used to be New Amsterdam, Amsterdam, and Dutch the Dutch, New when York. Was it, what? When was it New Amsterdam? Before it was New York. Even old New York was once New Amsterdam. Why they changed it, I can't say. Some people just liked it better that way. I never I, I genuinely never knew that. 17th century Dutch settlement. How the hell did you not know that? Did you know that Istanbul was Constantinople? Now yeah. it's Istanbul, not Constantinople. So a yeah. long time ago it was Constantinople. Yes, I've heard the song. Why did Constantinople get the works? Get the works? That's nobody's business but the Turks. I love that song. Uh, Remember when they made, might be giants did that and they released it on a uh, tiny uh, um, tiny tunes? No. Oh yeah, they Ooh, might yeah. be giants, man. That's like a when I I know that they definitely never had anywhere near the fame of this, they but were, like they were like a they were like a a a band that how do you say how do I how was the best way to put this? They were like a real band that unintentionally became a kids band, but everybody liked them anyways. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't they weren't like the Wiggles or you know what I mean, but they were like. It's so easy listening. It's so. So cute. did they become a full-on kids band? No, no. That's what I'm saying. They're not a kids band, but they like pre might, they've been treated as one. Yeah, or, yeah. Well, or, I just I do know a lot of people. I knew a lot of people who really fucking liked them. Like a handful of people who were like really into them. Yeah, but I never really considered the kid thing. But there's a Canadian band called the Tragically Hip, and they're okay. like, do you have you ever heard of them? No. Doug, they're one of the biggest bands of all time. I fell down this rabbit hole a few months ago. They are like a Canadian Beatles, okay? To them, the Tragically Hip is the band, okay? And their singer died of cancer, okay? Man. Uh, like a couple years ago. How old's this band? It's so here, let me pull up there, dude, because it's so interesting because I have never, we've heard, never of heard of them in America. Okay. Canadian. So, yeah, and they were often simply referred to as the hip, the tragically hip, but people in Canada just call them the hip. Uh, their singer was a guy named Gord Downey, okay? okay. Gord. And cool. uh, they started in 84, Okay, and they were fucking massive, okay? In uh, 91, they had their first album hit number one in Canada, and then it never stopped after that, all the way through 2015, Okay. And okay. in, 20, in 2015, they announced that uh, Gord had brain cancer and oh, they were right. going to do one final tour of across Canada. And it was like the biggest thing ever. OK. And they played one final show. And the day they played that one final show got on stage. No, Canada treated it like a national holiday. No one had to go to school. No one had to go to work. Everybody stayed home and watched the Tragically Hips last concert. It was like wow. patriotism to them, okay? And then yeah. he died and he died in October 2017 and it was like the pope dying over there. Everybody oh stopped and mourned for like days. And we've never heard of this band. 
And so I've got I've looked them up and I've got a couple of songs that I'll pull up and play occasionally now. And it's really not my type of music, but it's interesting. Yeah, it's like it's like adult contemporary and it's Canadian. So it's very like polite kind of. Yeah, it's it's Literally. very interesting, though. I'll send you a couple when we get off the air. But but yeah, Gord is like uh, he's like fucking Jesus over there, man. Well, there you go. Our customers up in the uh, up in Canada learned something new about you guys today. And that's uh, I'll definitely check it out. The Gord. I mean, excuse me, the the tragically hip and his name was Gord Downey Downey. No. Yeah. And uh, D- Dallas Green of uh, Alexis on Fire and City in Color. It was notably like super influenced by him, even though you c- couldn't fucking tell that. Hmm. But that's what this wiki says. And since that's somebody we actually have listened to, uh, that's that's what I'm going to say. But I don't know. if that's- Well, I'd never listened to those bands. Uh, but uh, just say th- th- the thing about like British people and Canadians, they are politely rude, aren't they? I, th- I think Europeans are more politely rude than Canadians. I think Canadians genuinely just shove every fucking negative emotion down. <laughs> it really please, does kind of feel please, like. Please berate us with your thoughts on that one. <laughs> I just feel like, doesn't it kind of feel like Canadian? Because Canadians have a, a kind of a tragic history as well. And they kind of also struggle with a lot of the same like government overreach and shit that we do. And and they acknowledge it, but it seems like they have such more of a positive outlook than America. And it has to be because they're just shoving that shit down. Possibly. Or it's just so cold. I mean, I've been cold and pissed before. (laughs) Dude, you remember the fucking last year, you remember uh, not even a year ago when we were freaking frozen into into, into space. (laughs) Yeah. It's like the worst. And it's going to happen every year from now on. What? That what same it? exact situation. What, may, Joel? When is the last time that's ever happened to us before 2021? Watch, watch. I would. We'll watch. revisit this. Watch. We'll revisit this in February. It's going to happen. Do you I really have know. a watch tattooed on your hand? Don't you have a watch tattooed on your arm? <laughs> what does that mean? A tell as old as time. Uh, it means uh, you've got 20 seconds before I fuck you up. <laughs> I will fight you. Imagine you being in a bar and be like, dude, you got 20 seconds to get away from me before I fuck you up. And then you start the countdown from 20. 20. 20 19. 19. I'm not fucking around 18. <laughs> dude, 20 seconds is a long time. It's way too long to give somebody. Yeah, in twenty a- seconds they could go from not wanting to fight you to getting mad enough to wanting to fight you to finding a weapon and then murdering you. Yeah, or even just like y'all becoming friends. Yeah, you can make dude, a or lovers. Dude, you can make dude. We could do a speed dating in twenty seconds. I know we could. I don't think I work out in twenty seconds. I need at least Hi. forty seconds. Hi, my name is Doug. Uh. Want to go out me? That's it. Try that at the game. Tonight? Yeah. Hey, uh, my name's Doug. You want to go out with me? Hey, I'm Joe Dirt. You want to make out? Nah, I'm just kidding. But for real, though, you want to make out? That's a good one. I'm, I'm, Joel, yeah. Robert- I'm Joel Robertson. <laughs> what hey, you look at me, Joel. You want to be- <laughs> I'm Joel Robertson. Can I have a kiss? <laughs> Can I have a kiss? <laughs> Ew, that's way worse than what I said. Can I have a kiss? Might as well just be like, hey, can Where? I sniff your panties? Can I have a kiss? Where at? That's always the best one. Did you kiss her? Yeah. Where? Outside. Was that from uh, no, oh. it's in her living room. Her mom was a... there, so it was really sweet. That's a really good question. What is that from? I'm pretty sure it's Dates and Confused. I mean, I'm sure it's from a lot of things, but I think Dates and Confused is what I've taken that from. It is definitely from Dates and Confused. It's the dude that looks like uh, there's an actor in Dates and Confused that's I don't I've never seen anything else, but he looks like the spitting image from the dude that um, was the Ghost of Christmas Past in Scrooged. Is he an yeah. older character? And the, Ghost of, uh, the Ghost of Christmas Past in Scrooge is the one that's saying. Um, a song. Like, I already know. Song. I already know exactly who you think it is, and it is definitely him. 
Uh, yeah, it's good. the guy that sings that that cool song from the '90s that like is very Harry Delafonte inspired. Might even be a Harry Delafonte cover song, uh-huh. but uh, he is the Ghost of Christmas Past in Screw, whatever his name is. Actually, and he was the lead singer of the New York Dolls. Holy Actually. shit! What's his name? Okay, I had to make sure. And it is him. It's David Johansson. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Yeah, he sang for the New York Dolls. How do I know all this? And uh, he's the ghost of Christmas past in Scrooge. Told you. He's uh, Dazed and Confused. That, that's not him and Dazed and Confused. Yes, it is. That's what started all this. That's why I looked this all up. It is him and Dazed and Confused. It doesn't, it, just really? look, it doesn't just look like him. That's him. I thought it was somebody that just looks like him. That's him? I mean, I'm looking at it right now, and it has to be. Let me go to his IMDb. I have him pulled up. Yes, like there's no way they're the same guy. He's too, he's too um, old at that point to play that kid in high school. Why would Linklater, how would Linklater get him into that film when everybody there is brand know. new actors? Hold on. He's got all these new actors. Matthew McConaughey is like first, like, I don't know if that's his first film, but one of his first. But he got the lead singer of New York Dolls that was just premiered in Scrooge to come and do Days of Confused as a high school kid. I don't think so, but it could be wrong. I've been wrong. Okay, okay, you're you're oh, right. God. You're right. Some reason, if you if you Google David Johansson Days of Confused and then you hit images, you can find it. But if you go to his IMDb, it's not there. That guy's name is Sasha Jensen, and okay. uh, he no he is also one of the like dirt bad guys in Buffy the movie oh yeah yeah and he's in uh, Halloween 4 but I could not tell you who he plays in that well that was great Joel that's it you don't have that's it I don't fuck all I don't know anything about him but he's the one who says where'd you kiss her where at where I meant did you kiss her yeah and he's like where and he's like huh that's it that's it and another thing about uh, that we talked about before on um, here, Daisy Confused, the redhead gal with the curly red hair. Her twin brother is uh, Giovanni um, Rabisi. Rabisi. That's her twin Giovanni. brother. Giovanni. Crazy motherfucker, dude. I've got, okay. <laughs> you know? He hasn't been in anything I can't think of since Ted, which he's pretty What's fucking funny in Ted. He's, he's the also a bad guy in Ted. Huh. And he also is to me the saving grace for that western that Tom McFarland Todd McFarland uh, did. Seth McFarland. Seth McFarland. No, uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So he was in a million ways to die in the West. I never saw that. Or I saw it, but I, it was so bad I fucking forgot it. He actually is the reason I, I finished that movie and, and actually laughed at it. There's actually a lot of funny scenes in that movie. It, but Ted was way fucking funnier. That's why I was like, what the fuck? Because and also I'm not huge on Seth MacFarlane as an actor. I yeah, genuinely no, for- think he needs to never do that again, especially if he's gonna be banging out Charlie's Theron. Bro, get real. Get fucking real. You Got fucking real. scab. No. Why is that? No. I mean, he's a funny guy. Funny guys. Funny guys can can get the. But the- he's not playing Seth MacFarlane in the movie. He's just playing some dickhead who keeps fucking up in the West. Why would she? No. It's like Sandler. Dude, I love Seth MacFarlane. I love Sandler. Sandler would not. The kid, This man-child character he's playing is not dating Jennifer Aniston in any of these worlds that he's creating. Well, uh, Adam Sandler is actually apparently in really, really good shape. I don't know. I've never not seen him. Of those movies, though. He, in those movies, he's playing like a slob. I'm not saying Adam Sandler. Of course, Adam Sandler could probably snap his fingers and fuck the genie from Aladdin if he wanted to. So like, one of my favorite uh, like candid moments when of like internet is when Justin Bieber is walking down the street in New York. And this guy walked oh, by. Oh, I love that moment. Big fan, dude. Or he's like, hey, what's up? And he's like, oh, hey, what's up? And it's freaking, they like have a quick hug or something like that. Not even. And walk off and it's fucking the sand, man. That's I'm- a great moment. The, uh, another great moment. Jonah Hill is outside of a coffee shop with headphones on. And someone runs up and gives him a hug. And it's Leonardo DiCaprio. And it scares runs the up, shit out of Jonah Hill. With, uh, with the camera phone. Oh, that's right. And Jonah Hill's like, and it, it's fucking Leo. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine being cool enough that Leonardo DiCaprio runs up to you with his fucking phone out. To fucking freak you out. Crazy. 
Uh, so Giovanni Ribisi, here's why he hasn't been in much. Because <laughs> since oh. A Million Ways to Die in the West, he, uh, he did Ted 2, which was terrible. And then, uh, then he did The Bad Batch, which I don't even remember him being in. But he's doing Avatar 2, 3, 4, and 5. He's one of the main characters of Avatar. Which, of course, I don't remember because who the fuck remembers anything about Avatar? Two, three, four, and five? Oh, you didn't know? I Bro, did not know that. Not only is there five of them, but the first sequel, Avatar 2, has been slated to come out every year since I lived in L.A. It gets pushed back every three months, like another two years. It's now coming out Christmas next year. Then Christmas 2024, we get three. Then Christmas 2026, we get four. And then 2028, five. So, so James Cameron said, fuck making anything worthwhile for 25 fucking years, basically. Christ. And so, I mean, what's the next one going to be about? Like Beauty and the Beast? So apparently, because let's be frank here. The only way this is going to work out for them is if they somehow come up with something better than 3d for the second one and then make the second movie so good that the th three four and five don't need a hook like that but right now what people remember is holy shit best 3d i ever saw and that's fucking it i've heard that the goal is to make two glassesless 3d which would be pretty fucking mind-blowing and would definitely get my ass in the seat oh yeah me too and then i'd fucking like walk out into like the normal world and be like what is what's what's the point i hear What's the point of this? Do, am I, I needed fucking here? want to be here? There's too much shit on me. <laughs> too much fucking shit on me. Who took a shit on me? You walk, <laughs> you, walk back, you walk back into normalcy after watching 3D without glasses movie. And you're like, who took a shit on me? And apparently almost all of two takes place underwater. So... Ooh, that sounds fun. So what I've read Are is that in no, they filmed it in like probably another country. Uh, but I've heard that one of the reasons that the second one has taken so long to film is because they have had to train all the actors to act underwater for minutes at a time, submerge. So like, he's not even fucking willing to CGI this shit, even though he's literally the god of fucking advanced technology in movies that we never have seen. He's gonna make these motherfuckers act underwater for like 20 minutes. James Cameron's been to the Titanic. I like, fucking personally. can't stand how up his own ass he is, but yeah, he's a genius. He personally went to the Titanic. Like numerous fucking times. He's also the only person on the planet to have ever gone seven miles down into the ocean. He's that's not true that's absolutely he's been, true he's been to the bottom of the mariana trench but he's not the first one to go down there i thought he was Wait. the only person to ever go down there not even just the first the only one i don't Check think anyone because he's the only one who has the the technology to get there hold on did james cameron go to the, to the bottom of the mariana trench i believe so holy shit and shot a movie down there it's called like uh hold on i'm on his imdb let me see if i can find it it's oh, wait, called no, this Giovanni so, Ribisi's IMDb. The, the Deep End featuring uh, Jim Cameron. No, I'm pretty sure it was like in IMAX. Hold on. It was called Dear Mariana. Oh, no. After Avatar, he has not done anything besides Avatar. Oh, he wrote the screenplay to that Alita movie. <laughs> yeah, which they filmed. That's why I asked you they're filming it in Austin. Pepper I have a friend who's in that movie. Because they filmed it in Austin. Yeah, but he's he didn't make that movie though. He just wrote the screenplay. It's a Robert Rodriguez film. I'm pretty sure he's an executive producer and funded a tremendous amount of it. Yeah, but the, it's a Robert Rodriguez film. Troublemakers in Austin. Oh my god, that doesn't mean that James Cam. You think James Cameron didn't come to Austin and help out? I didn't say that. I'm saying James Cameron's studio is not in Austin. Troublemakers Actually, in Austin. I know. I know a handful of people that worked on that film. Ask him. Does James Cameron live in Austin? I didn't say he lived in Austin. I, I, freaking what? That doesn't I'm even make sense. Shooting Avatar at Austin. It's not. I, it's not a. It's not a troublemaker picture. You're that doesn't mean he can't. It doesn't mean he can't shoot in Austin. No, that's fair. That's fair. But I. But he's not. Jesus, where is it's he shooting? At? 
It's fair. Uh, <laughs> the moon. <laughs> uh, oh, hold on. Uh, that with the civilians being launched into. And also, oh, yeah, that's kind of what I figured. It's Wellington, New Zealand for the outside stuff. Thank the you. Ha- Hama- the Hamwa- Hamwaka Coast, Oahu, Kauai, Hawaii, and then Playa Vista, California. <laughs> nice. Um, well, see, that's all I wanted to know. And well, uh, hold on, and- though, because I wanted to see about the Mariana Trench thing, but keep talking while I look that up. Like with the civilians being launched in outer space, I mean, I understand that they're civili- civilians civilians because they're not in the military or in like, I guess you have to be in the Air Force to be an astronaut, which makes you not a civilian. I'm assuming that's what this is all about. But like they're the first four not civilians, but they're like trained. Like they're they're just they are astronauts from what I've gathered. Like went through some pretty serious training. Or I, I believe you have to. And I believe he's actually very, very highly trained in all that stuff. Yeah. So who? Who are we talking about now? James Cameron. Oh, I'm talking about the uh, four civilians that were launched into outer space a couple of days ago. And are they back yet? Oh, I didn't even. Did that happen? The yeah. SpaceX thing? Yeah, there's four civilians in, in outer space right now. Fuck yeah, oh, dude. Oh. Right along. Right oh. along. Above the International Space Station. They're farther out than the in- International Space Station. Sick. We'll look that up They're next. Outer space. Oh. And like, okay, so a- this is actually super fucking interesting. Uh, okay. Okay. So U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh and Swiss engineer Jacques Picard mm-hmm. dove to the bottom of the Mariana Trench in dove? 1960. What do you How- – uh, before we go farther, what do you think that means, they dove? I'm assuming – that that means they were in some sort of capsule that fucking yeah. took them to the bottom. There's no physical way for them to go I, down I there. Know if you might have, I mean, I know you're smart and you're like, no about like water pressure, but I didn't know if you maybe thought that they swam down there. No, no, I just didn't. In 1960, yeah. no. that's nuts to me. What would they, they have been in? Like some fucking iron tube or some shit? Like that's a terrible time to be diving. Have you seen that? Have you seen what the Coast Guard or the Navy dove in? Have you seen Men of Honor? They were wearing like microwaves to dive, yeah. bro. So, dude, like, so just imagine you and I going, <laughs> going all the way down the Marianas Trench and start the glass starts breaking and stuff. And, you, and the first thing that one of us says is you just go, that's nuts. <laughs> uh, so those two dudes and James Cameron are the only three people who have ever done it. Damn, dude, that's fucking wild. But from 1960, nobody did it till 2012. So he's all the way down there, and all by, by, while that's happening, there's four fuckers all the way up there. All the way. They're gone. They're out of here. And there's civilians. Oh, yeah, see and, they're back. Yeah, see if they're back. And then also, like, yeah, I mean, like I said, I understand, like, they're civilian because of title. But, like, what is if, – if, if what makes you a civilian is not being in the military, it's like – that's a pretty – I don't know. Is it that? I don't know. Is it that big of a deal that they're civilians? You know what I mean? Because they're not just like me and you getting on a shuttle and being launched into space. That would be crazy. But they like trained and like prepared and went through, I'm sure, vigorous, vigorous training and, and, and to learn how to be up in space, right? Yeah. Yeah. I would assume so. It's not so, like getting on, for, get on an airplane for the first time. Today is I mean, the last year. Oh, today, I'm sorry. Today is splashdown day. They will splash down tonight at 7 p.m. Wow. So hey, best of hey, Godspeed. Come Hell on. Yeah, dude, they were hanging out with Tom Cruise this morning, apparently. Dude, really? Yeah, Tom Cruise made, Tom Cruise launched out there to meet up he with him. He was already up there. He just <laughs> came by. He just, he stopped, just by. stopped by. Football, huh? Hey, sick. So hey, what? You know what? I, you know the best thing about being married is right. Fucking your wife, am I right, guys? <laughs> Throw me the pigskin, right Fire here. That fucking pigskin. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, but yeah, Godspeed. Come, come home safely. But apparently, I guess the funding you got oh, no. cut. It just got cut. They're fucked. They got to find their own way back. They got to Uber back. They're like, hey. Uh, yeah. And then I heard they're going to Splashway to celebrate. That's what I said. They're going to hit Splashway at 7 p.m. Imagine you're at Splashway 
And uh, for those of you who don't know, Splashway is literally one of the worst fucking water parks in the planet. It's a, it's about two, it's about two acres of two water slides and they are garbage, but it's fun when you're a kid. Uh, imagine you're on that fucking one yellow slide and you've been waiting all day. They fucking slats their bodies. Just <laughs> dude. Remember that one time that kid, that, that that's that slitter bond that was like in kansas city yeah the that, ver 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 token ver ver token and that one person got undeaded or whatever you say unalive alive by getting his fucking head ripped off that sucks or ver, ver uh it was like it was like a seven-year-old kid dude oh, uh seven and, uh, yeah he was he was very young um hold on Either way, he was a child. I, I remember that. I just remember hearing. I thought it was. A, I thought it was made up. Ten. He was ten. Oh my god, dude, that's so awful. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. And his his body just floated down there, that's like with a trail of blood. <sighs> Genius fucking idea yeah. having that uh metal go, railing right there. No, it got caught in the fucking uh, fencing. And that you know when you go on the yeah, that's what I'm saying. It shouldn't have. Been, it should have been netting. It shouldn't have been fucking. Oh, it was netting. It caught him. No. It wasn't. It was. I've watched videos about this. It was metal. You make it sound like they're spinning swords up there. They were spinning swords up there. Hold on. Uh, yeah, he hit a metal pole that was su- oh. that was supporting the net. It should have just been netting up there. That's and dumb. they did the reason they did that is because on one of the test rides, something flew all the way off of it, like hundreds of yards further than all the football fields. <laughs> just disappeared into the sky. Uh, and they were like, we can't have that. And so they put in this safety net and to, and, and they used the metal poles to hold it up. It's terrible fucking oversight on their part. But the reason that they didn't care was because it was getting that tiny Schlitterbahn massive publicity because it was the world's tallest, fastest water slide. Was it a Schlitterbahn? Yeah. It's the, Hot it's the, down Texas. It's a okay. small, it's a very. Uh, I would compare it to the first year that Rock, uh, that's that uh, South Padres Schlitter bomb was open. Did you ever go to that one? Yeah, it's aw- it was awful when I went. I know I went twice. Uh, once, th- literally, like the month it opened, and nothing worked. You all you could do was float the wave pool, and there was one ride that worked, and because it was the only one that worked, and because it just opened, it was thousands of people trying to ride it. Uh, and then the second time I went, everything that was open was open, but. It honestly, like when you go, when you grew up going to New Braunfels, it's really fucking hard to go to any of the other ones. It's hard to, yeah, dude. It the the highest coolest time in Texas, Slitter Bon 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 Bon, dude. That was like mecca for us as kids, man. It's kind of hard to go so back as an adult. Fun. It's honestly kind of gross. But uh, as yeah. a kid, I had a fucking blast. <laughs> There's videos of fights in the wave pool. I'll, 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 <laughs> uh, yeah. At the New Braunfels one. Dude, is it? Do you remember, remember when we got a, a flat tire on the way there? Yeah, in my van. Yeah. Remember when that kid came on splash me, so I pulled him off his tube? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Remember we lost Joe Cornetti all day, and then I, I, I was floating the wave pool, and I see him floating the wave pool with just a bunch of random people. <laughs> <laughs> just living life, just having a good old time. We had a lot of fun when we were younger, Joel. I'm so happy that it's so weird that like at our back to our bachelor uh, camping cabin trip, just sitting around reminiscing about all those good times. When is your wedding again? Uh, next two two weeks. weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks. Oh boy, I'm happy you said that. Um, blue. It's two weeks and four days from now. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm very excited. You nervous? I'm nervous just because I don't like being up in front of a bunch of people not singing. <laughs> like, uh, it is you know what awkward. I mean? Like, when it's you start playing awkward. music, it's like that feeling goes away immediately because you're in the moment. But I'm going to have to stand up there and say vows and be like romantic. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. It's going to be you, oh. Jeff, Mercado, uh, Aaron, and her brother. I'm so honored. I truly am. I am. This is great. I'm so happy for you. I'm proud of you, dude. Thanks, babes. I love you so much. You're just so I such a good you guy. Too, boy. Uh, 
you're my boy. And then I'm going to, uh, uh, we'll take a, so we'll have to take time off because um, then I'm going to Florida for a week. So <laughs> that's where you're going to vacate. So are you going to honeymoon Florida? She wants to go to Universal because she's never been there. She oh, wants to go. Okay. That's so we cool. got like a, we're like, we got okay. like a week there. So. I feel like going to Orlando. I mean, I guess you are going to Orlando. Yeah, but I fucking just going to Orlando. No, we're just going go- to Florida with no plans. Uh, <laughs> I just want to see the people. I just heard there's really good people down there. Florida gets pretty bad rap, but Florida's actually a pretty cool spot. It's a Florida's lot of fun. Florida's the stuff. fucking worst. <laughs> you never been to Florida. I've been to Florida so many times. I really have been to Florida quite a few times. Oh, yeah. You've been to Disney World. Dog, okay. So when I lived in Louisiana, we grew up going to Panama. And when I lived in Texas, we went to Disneyland. And then I grew up going to Universal like every other year. You know what's crazy? Uh, Panama. Great song. Panama. Uh, 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 have you noticed uh, that trend uh, of, uh, <laughs> the trend of the Irish uh, drinking songs coming yeah, back? Yeah, I love the- it. What the fuck is going on? I don't know. My favorite thing is not even one of the songs. It's where the dude tells a story and he's like, I went to a bar and there was only two pints. And everybody goes, oh, and he goes, for every lad. And they go, oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, yeah, that one's great. Uh, speaking of trends, though, have you heard about this? Uh, we can cap off this show with this. This is fucking nuts. We were bad in school. I want to preface by saying we were bad in school. Yeah. But, but we were never felony bad in school no. the no. current trend on tiktok is called devious licks okay it's where kids hit these devious licks they call it where they literally rip shit out of the wall at school <laughs> and see what the craziest thing they can steal from school is so currently almost no schools in this country are allowing any kids to use the bathroom because they're stealing toilets sinks soap dispensers <laughs> I saw a, a, a TikTok where a kid was, it said, best lick I've ever had. And it was a kid walking down the halls with a fucking door under each arm. <laughs> <laughs> They're going nuts, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah, we never do anything like that. We're pretty bad, but not like that. Dog. All right, guys. Thanks for listening to another episode. I didn't see you, I believe you. I'm Doug. I'm Joel. And uh, click right here if you want to subscribe and uh, check out more of our shows. We'd really appreciate it. We're live on, or you can listen to this on. Apple Music, Spotify, all of them. Anyways, and click where Joel is if you want to watch last week's episode.